All right, before we start this video, I need to clarify that this information is not confirmed by Christian Whitehead or Sega. This is just a conclusion that I've come to based off putting other confirmed information about Sonic Mania together. So basically, once you put all this information together, it points to Sonic Mania being 15 zones long, with 9 zones being reimagined classics and 6 zones being brand new zones. Now let's delve into how I came to this conclusion. Firstly, we know that Christian Whitehead confirmed that Sonic Mania would be longer than Sonic Generations. So that in itself rules out Sonic Mania being anything less than 9 zones. He also confirmed a boss after every act. Now obviously if you played Sonic 1 or Sonic 2 or Sonic CD, you know that they only had bosses at the final act of each zone and not in the first acts. So clearly there's some Sonic 3 influence there. I mean if you look at footage of Sonic Mania, there's special stage rings being placed around the acts of the game, just like Sonic 3. Now if you look at the Green Hill Act 1 footage that we've already seen, we know that the boss is a reimagining of the boss from the original Green Hill and Sonic 1. They also hinted in the PlayStation Magazine Magazine, that Green Hill Act 2's boss would be inspired by the first boss encountered in Sonic CD and Palm Tree Panic. They said, and I quote, The second boss, Green Hill Act 2, a giant walking contraption containing a better animated Eggman. So it looks like for the reimagined stages, each act will have reimagined bosses. Now what have we seen for the new stages? So far we've seen footage of Studiopolis and Mirage Saloon Zone. However, the only boss we've seen was for Studiopolis Zone Act 1 in a screenshot. Now at South by South Southwest, they showed us a silhouette of these bosses and called them the hard world heavies. You can't really make them out except for the one that they confirmed a while back called the heavy gunner, which is the one that we saw in Studio Plus Zone Act 1 in the screenshot. That being said, this guy pointed out that there looks to be 5 or 6 enemies in the silhouette, including the already visible heavy gunner. Now since we've already confirmed 2 acts per zone in Sonic Mania, we've also confirmed reimagined bosses for act 1's of reimagined stages, and it's also heavily being pointed towards reimagined bosses for the act 2 of the reimagined stages, that means everything is pointing to the hardboiled heavies only being present in the new zones. There's even a painting of one of the hardboiled heavies whose eyes follow your movement in Mirage Saloon Zone Act 2. If we assume that there are six hardboiled heavies in that silhouette image, including the one that we can see visibly, then at this point, this leaves us with two possibilities. The first possibility is that there'll be two hardboiled heavies per new zone, basically meaning one per act. But I find this highly unlikely, I mean, given this game's influence from Sonic 3, if you remember correctly, in Sonic 3, the first act always had a boss that wasn't Eggman himself, freeing up the second act for an Eggman boss. Now if we look at Green Hill Act 1, even though the first act boss was inspired by the original boss of Green Hill in Sonic 1, you could see that Eggman wasn't actually there himself. However, for Act 2, they confirmed that Eggman would be there because it said a giant walking contraption containing a better animated Eggman. Which leads us to the second possibility. Each hard-boiled heavy will occupy the first act of a new zone, freeing up the second act of new zones for an Eggman boss, maybe even a new Eggman boss that isn't based off previous Eggman bosses. So if we can see six hard-boiled heavies in this image, then that would imply that there's six new zones in Sonic Mania. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's been confirmed that this game will be 60% reimagined classics and 40% new stages. So that means if there are 6 new zones representing 40% of the game, then the 60% reimagined zones would add up to 9 zones. 9 plus 6 equals 15, meaning we'd get a 15 zone game with 9 zones being reimagined classics and 6 zones being brand new. This seems to be the most plausible theory right now, as remember Christian Whitehead did say the game was longer than Sonic Generations, and that was a 9 zone game with 2 acts in each zone, not including any of the missions, bosses or rival battles. So 15 zones definitely sounds longer, especially since generation stages were short to begin with. So let me know what you guys think about this, but I like the length 15 zones, but it still feels like there's too much reimagined in there, you know? In fact, I'll go as far as to say that I would have preferred if the game was only 10 zones long if every single zone was new, as opposed to 15 zones with only 6 of them being new. That's just how I feel. And also let me know if you agree with this theory or not. I mean, since the 60% and 40% numbers are confirmed, any other theory would have to fit within those numbers, so it could be 10 zones with 4 zones being new since 40% can go into 10 and result in a whole number. But then of course that would mean there would only be 4 enemies in the silhouette image, which seems unlikely. But then again, they did say about 60% and about 40%. 
So maybe that's because the zone count doesn't fit exactly within those percent values. For example, the game could be 12 zones long, with 5 zones being new. That's 41.6666% new, so that qualifies as about 40%. And since Generations is 9 zones long, and this game is longer than Generations, then Sonic Mania being 10 zones, or 12 zones, or even up to 18 zones, would probably all be my secondary guesses. But until we get more info, I'm sticking to 15 zones as my primary guess, with 9 zones being reimagined classics, and 6 zones being brand new. But hey, that's just a theory. A Sonic theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh god.